There's a mad scientist in town, and he's messing with fission and chemicals. I don't know what he's up to, but today we're going to take a look at fission. Cue the intro. Hi guys, what's good? Rising Phoenix One. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Hey, this video is presented by the EA Creator Network and a shout out to the EA Community Manager Kits because he's the one who got us these cards. All right, all right, all right. It is the Mad Scientist promo. So this promo template goes back to, what was it? Thunder and Lightning, something like that, way back in the day. It is a 16 day promo. And as I'm sure you noticed, the GM sets are not yet in game. Don't know when they're gonna drop. In a minute, we're gonna go into the sets. We're gonna claim 104 masters from each side, fission and chemical. And we're gonna take a quick look at the stats on all eight cards, because right now you can only see them on these four cards right here. Before we do that, there's some confusion as to exactly how you will claim the masters. And the confusion rises from two little words, and and or. All right, so if we go here, where we have our GM's cat and Jimmy buckets, it says exchange all four 104 fission and chemical reaction masters to choose a 106 Carl Anthony Towns or Jimmy Butler that suits your style. So to me, that and suggests you're gonna have to put them all together and then you're just going to select either Cat or Jimmy. But if we go into the limited time event and we go to the little information node here, here it says turn in all four 104 fission or chemical reaction masters to earn a select of a 106 Cat or Jimmy of your chosen style and get your 104s back. So this seems to suggest to me that four 104 fission players will get you one master, four 104 chemical reaction masters will get you another master. The bottom line is, as it stands right now when I'm making this video, we simply do not know, okay? If I were to take a guess, and this is only a guess, four 104 Fission Masters will get you a choice of a Grandmaster in Style Select, and then four 104 Chemical Masters will get you your second GM. That's a guess, right? That's just a guess. So yeah, a little bit of confusion here, but the bottom line is we have four 104 Chemical Masters and four 104 Fission Masters, and then we have two GMs who are simply Mad Scientist Grand Masters. So first we're gonna look at Towns and Butler, then we're gonna jump into the sets, and we're gonna claim 104 from each side, and while we're doing that, we'll take a look at the stats of all eight of the 104 Masters. So let's look at Jimmy Buckets first. Butler has a plus six scoring machine boost to team. Um, athleticism stats, they're okay. Uh, not great, but they're okay. I mean, he's a 106 overall. So, uh, you know, they're all right. We'll leave it at that. Rebounding, I think, is pretty low. Box out, equally low. But when we get to the right side of the stats, here's where he goes, right? Inside offensive game is terrific. Perimeter shooting looks very good. 89 three-pointer is low. It is Jimmy Butler, but he's a 106 overall. I think he should be in the mid 90s, but we'll have to make do, right? We got big boosts. Jimmy Butler has good defense and Butler cards usually have good D as well. 100 on ball, very good. 105 steal, very good. 95 hands on perimeter, 105 interception. So he has very good defensive stats. He's got good playmaking stats. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this Jimmy Butler with a scoring machine boost to team. Then we get to the card that I'm more excited about, and that is Carl Anthony Towns. And you can see on both of these, it doesn't say fission or chemical. It just says Mad Scientist Grandmaster. Cat has a plus six slasher boost to team, which is boosting his inside scoring and his offensive post. 
I guess 94 and 98 speed and agility aren't too bad for a center. 100 strength is very good for a center. His vertical is low at 88, but it will be boosted and he is seven feet. He has great rebounding stats. Let me say it again, great rebounding stats at 104 and 103, box out at 103 and 106, all looks really good. His inside offensive game is ridiculous, 107 dunk, right? Oh, he is a three point contest winner, so his perimeter shooting looks outstanding. On ball D, ah, yeah, yeah, his, his D is very low. Um, he's got good passing. He has some good offensive post stats, and that is it for Carl Anthony Towns. I can tell you that Cat has the full dunk package, and I mean the full dunk package, 360, cradle, tomahawk, you name it, he's got it. So far, the 104s I've played with have some degree of a dunk package as well. But let's jump into the sets. We'll take a quick look at the stats on all eight of these 104s. All of them have plus four elite position boost. Not sure why it's elite instead of ultra, but it's what we got, right? It's what we got. So let's jump into the sets, have a little fun, and see what all eight of the 104s look like on the stats. All right, so we're in sets, so we're gonna start with the Vision Masters. So we're gonna claim this one here. Boom. All right, De'Aaron Fox, let's take a quick look. He has a plus four high flyer boost to position. Athleticism stats look really good. His rebounding, frankly, looks good. Box out looks good. Inside offensive game looks good. His perimeter shooting looks outstanding. When it gets to defense, 85 on ball is very low for 104. Uh, yeah, so is the steal. And those are the two stats I'm really looking for with a point guard. 96 hands on perimeter, 102 interception are good. Playmaking stats, except for court vision, look pretty good. And that's it for De'Aaron Fox. Then we go to Freddie Van Vliet, and he has a plus four to position combo guard boost and his athleticism stats they're they're all right nothing special rebounding looks pretty good for a six foot shooting guard so do his box out inside scoring looks very good perimeter shooting looks very good too he does have a low contested at 94 but so far and i've only been playing with these fission masters so far he is an absolute bucket 87 on ball, yeah, I mean, other than his hands on perimeter, not looking at too much on defense, but I will tell you this, he's been pretty good on defense for me too. Nice playmaking stats, and that's it for Freddie Van Vliet. Now we get to Chris Middleton. He has a plus four scoring machine boost to position. Not overly impressed with the athleticism stats, although the speed and agility are okay. Rebounding, it's fine for a small forward. Box out is fine too. His inside offensive game is looking very good. Perimeter shooting, you know, not so great, but with the boost we have and with his own boost, plus four, he's gonna be just fine. 96 on ball, now we're talking, there's some defense. 94 block, 89 steal, 101. Okay, his defense overall looks pretty good. His playmaking overall looks good and that's Chris Middleton and then we get to Larry Markinen and here we I always like marketing cards and there we go and yeah not a lot to talk about on the athleticism stats but my eyes are drawn immediately to that 99 vertical which looks pretty good especially for a seven footer his rebounding is okay but not great for a power forward box outs fine his inside offensive game looks pretty good and then he's got very good perimeter shooting for a power forward. His defense, other than interception, is, you know, not really there. He's got a great triple threat. He's got some post stats, um, but that's about it. And then he has a plus four lockdown defender boost to position, which is boosting his six defensive stats, as well as his three defensive post stats. Now, if we were just live streaming, I could ask you guys to vote on who we're gonna take. I'm gonna take Freddie Van Vliet. All right, let's go to the other side. There's our chemical reaction 104s. 
and let's see what these guys look like. Here we go, claim it. Open it. So then we get to Zach Levine. Zach has a plus four to position score on machine boost. Not overly impressed with his athleticism stats. They're all pretty much in the mid 90s. And this is a 104 after all. Rebounding, eh, it's all right, I guess, for a shooting guard. Box out looks fine. Inside offensive game looks solid. Perimeter shooting looks more than solid. It looks very good. Defense, 97 on ball. I mean, that's a big one. On ball gets overlooked a lot. Lots of times steals come from good on ball defense, right? So yeah, he's got the good on ball defense, good interception, good hands on perimeter. The rest really isn't there. Really nice playmaking stats and that's it for Zach Levine. Clint Capella has a high flyer boost to position. And here we go. In terms of the athleticism stats, go down to the strength and vertical. 99 and 102 are very good. Rebounding looks pretty good at 102 and 100. Box out looks good. Inside offensive game looks good, especially that 102 dunk. Doesn't really have much of a perimeter shooting game. 85 on ball is low. 101 block is nice. 96 hands on perimeter is nice. So he has a couple good defensive stats. The on ball is a little problematic. And then he has some basically offensive post stats that we don't really care about. All right, let's go to Tyrese Halliburton. He has a plus four elite combo guard boost to position. Um, yeah, he's got some interesting athleticism stats. I mean, a 104 first step, 100 quickness. He's got a 100 vertical for a 6'5 point guard. Uh, rebounding's pretty low. Box out, pretty high. Uh, his inside offensive game looks okay. Uh, scoring with contact and dunking, though, is kind of low. Perimeter shooting should be fine. He's got that 100 scoring touch, and hopefully that will carry that 93-3. 92 on ball, 96 hands on perimeter, 95 interception, 98 drawing offensive foul. So he has some good defensive stats, but he doesn't have a particularly good steal stat. Decent playmaking stats, and yeah, that's it for Tyrese Halliburton. And then our final card is the power forward, Triple J, Jaron Jackson Jr., and he has a plus four slasher boost to position. Athleticism stats start off looking pretty good. 96 and 99 speed and agility, those look fine. 99 quickness looks good too, but he's a power forward and strength and vertical is lacking big time here. However, his rebounding, 94 and 94, it's all right, I guess, it's all right. 88 and 98 box out. Inside offensive game looks good, particularly his dunk. Perimeter shooting for a power forward looks very good. 98 on ball defense, now we're talking. 93 block is a little low, but 91 steal. 103 hand, I mean, he's got very good overall defensive stats, decent playmaking stats, and that's pretty much it for our final player, Triple J. Who do we take, chat? Oh, that's right, we're not live, we're not live. We'll take Zach. And just like magic, or just like mad scientist weirdness, okay, we got our fission lineup. De'Aaron Fox, Freddie Van Vliet, Chris Middleton, Laurie Markinen, and Carl Anthony Towns. And we'll take a look at our boost team. There we go. And then obviously each one of these cards is gonna have some different looking boosts. We're not gonna go through all of them, but there you go. So we're gonna jump into showdown with our vision lineup. We're gonna play two, we'll come back and wrap it up. If everything goes as planned, tomorrow we'll be back with another video. This will be our chemical lineup and you'll get to see the other GM play, Jimmy Butler. Today though, we're using GM Cat. And we're going to try to distribute the ball to all these guys, all right? All right, let's get it. All right, so we have a 113 overall season seven lineup. Pretty good looking lineup. That uh, Boncaro card, man, if he gets a shot off, chances are it's going in. 
All right, we're gonna start with Freddie Van Vliet. Of course, he's our shooting guard. He's deep in the slot and he buries it. And that's what I'm talking about with this card. Obviously, a six footer at shooting guard is a bit of a hindrance, but he gets the job done. For you FVV fans, a oh, wide open for Corver. He misses it. Great block by Markinen. Middleton picks it up. We're trying to get it to Cat. And there he goes, just a regular dunk. Trust me, trust me, he's got the whole package. All right, come on, let's go. Come on, De'Aaron. I haven't been getting much luck with him on uh, steals. And that CP3 burying the midi the way he does, right? Whew. You give me that plus six slightly early every time and I'll make every shot. <laughs> De'Aaron Fox buries it. Nice, there we go, there's the steal. Trying to get it to Cat, but it goes to Markinen. And I'm not sure why we stopped, but um, we'll take the layup. <laughs> we'll take the layup. 10 to two, let's go, come on, get another one. There we go, there we go, De'Aaron. This one's off to FVV. Ooh, we got lucky, there we go. Cat with the midi, boom. No problem at all. No problem. Let's go, guys. Come on, let's go. Come on. Oh, 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 go, go, get it, D. Aaron. Nice, nice. Uh, that was really bizarre. He saved it, and the ball kind of did a, I don't know, it did something weird, or at least to my eyes it did. Oh, Corver buries the three. Oof. Green shoes, that means it's Middleton, and boom. See, I told you he'd be able to shoot. He does just fine from the perimeter. Nice tip by FVV. There's that defense picked up by Markinen, and, oh, he missed it. Who gets the board? Cat puts it back. Nice. There's where GM Carl Anthony Towns getting the offensive board and putting it back. Oh, geez. I didn't even see the pass to Siakam. But by the time I did, it was too late to do anything about it. Come on, Cat. Boom. From the wing over Capella on the other side. Nice steal by our guy, De'Aaron Fox. We're running out of time. We're running out of time. We'll have to take it with him. I wanted to get it to Cat. Why? De'Aaron Fox can bury it. 25 to seven plus 18, doesn't count if it goes. Nice job by these guys, really nice job by these guys. Darren Fox finally got some defense going for me, so that is a, uh, that's a positive. Yeah, and that looks like autoplay, so GG to our opponent, LG, we got the dub. All right, round two against a 111 overall finesse season seven lineup. Got Ben Caro in there, Kyrie. Kyrie's another one, man. That is a really good card on AI. I have been getting like all these 109s to 102s. So I get a 111, I'm taking it. FVV in the slot, boom. That's the weak spot right there in that zone. Let's go, come on. We get a steal? He's got Clarkson, oh geez. Uh, that was not bad defense on Cat. That was bad defense on me. And Bam took advantage of it. Payback time. Boom. Cat buries the three. We're going to see if we can't get Cat in for, you know, a special dunk or two maybe. Uh, what is up with this Bam card? What's going on? All right. He's got all four other points. Marking in a very late release. Midi, nothing but net. Nothing but net from the top of the key. Great block by FVV. Don't you think about it, Bam. All right. All right. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Middleton from the wing. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yes. Nice. Nice. We're going to bring Cat in. 
spin him. He spins the other way. Oh, whoa, 360 spin move followed by a 360 dunk in the other direction. That was pretty special. Nice job by Carl Anthony Towns. Nice steal. Wow, FPV stole it right when he was going up to bury the shot. Markkanen comes back and misses. He's really a good shooter. And once again, Cat with the offensive board and the putback. Let's go, right? Let's go. All right, come on. I'm pretty sure that was Bam again. All right, look out, KD, because here comes Chris Middleton, sky and high. A big one-handed power dunk right over KD. Nice job by Middleton. And there's Bam. He has all six of their points. What's up with that? All right, come on. This should be easy for De'Aaron. And he misses it. Wow, they're missing shots. They're missing shots this time. It's not the cards. <laughs> it's not the shots I'm taking. Okay, I think the game just said, yeah, you know what? That Fox shot should have gone in. We're giving you the ball back. Offensive foul on that. FVV, little half turn, that's down, boom. He just buries shots, man. Give him a little separation and he's fine. Clarkson out there and, I mean, frankly, Fox isn't even touching, that's by Carroll. Yeah, knew that would go in. All right, let's get it to Towns. And I don't know why I just shot with seven seconds left given them an opportunity to score because I wasn't paying attention. That's why. Great D by FVV. I'm telling you, you saw FVV getting tips, getting strips, playing good on-ball defense. And yeah, I'm not sure what happened there, but I'm assuming that's autoplay. GG's to Maravilla. And yeah, we'll take it. Okay, this one has been long, but there was a lot of ground to cover in this promo. This is a 16 day promo. We've had this format before, but we've got, you know, two grandmasters and we're not sure if they're gonna be in one set or two sets or, or how it's gonna be. Can you get one or will you be able to get two? I think it's two, but there's a lot of unknowns. And then we have eight 104s to address, right? So overall, I thought these guys looked good. Marketing and missed a couple shots. That's not consistent with the way he's been playing for me. Tomorrow, hopefully, we'll be playing with these guys and it'll be a shorter video because we won't have to go through all the stats, right? All right, guys, good luck with this promo. Have a great weekend. And with that, it's over, it's done, we're out of here. There's no more. And as always, peace out.